Aloha all you glitter junkies, it's Danielle with Love Gold Karma. Today I'm going to be making a cocoa butter and cashmere soap. I'm going to be using, here we go, the cocoa butter cashmere. Let me get it actually in frame of the camera would help. Cocoa butter and cashmere by Brambleberry. And for colors, I'm going to be doing magic beans. And that's a matte mica. And a fairy tale pink, and that's Crafter's Choice. I love how I get everything sideways and not in the frame. It's just like absolutely fantastic. Anyway, I'm gonna be trying this for the first time and I'm doing it based on the colors I think of when I think of cashmere. So the fragrance oil itself just colors to a dark brown, which I like. It's gonna be a soft dark brown. I'm gonna add a little bit of that magic beans in there just to give it a little pizzazz. And then I'm gonna use a cream and a very soft pink. So let's get started. Go ahead and pour my lye water solution down my stick blender. And then give it a whirl in here. I have all my oils, my butter, and I also have some kaolin clay in my lye water. I have, um, of course, the lye, the water, and some Tussie silk. I'm gonna split it off now. I've got my magic beans and my pink already in here. I'm just gonna really slowly add the colors in. There's like a little bit of magic beans in there. So let's get that split off. And then I'm going to stir in my fragrance oil. All right, so I've got everything separated up and I've put some pink in here. I might add a little bit more and I'm gonna stick blend these and then I'm gonna hand stir in the fragrance oil. I've got a little bit of Magic Beans in this one and I've got a little bit of titanium dioxide that I dispersed in water in this one. This is the cream, but I want it just a little bit lighter and not yellow at all. So let's mix those up. Make some lightest to darkest. I'm gonna add as I go, maybe. Well, I seem to be kind of right on for these colors. I'm gonna add a little more pink, but I wanted them really, really soft. And that's just what I think of when I think of cashmere. I just wanted it really soft. It's gonna have the brown base, and then it's gonna just be some drops in of these other colors and a simple top. Every time I say something is going to be simple, I make it complicated, but you know how that goes. So, so far, so good. Mix a little bit more of this pink in there. I just want it a little deeper. A little bit more of this pink. I love, 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 love this fairy tale pink mica. I just like getting into all of the fall sort of scents and colors. Pink is, is always a color for me, so doesn't matter if it's fall or not. I'm using it. That is perfect. Okay, next is the brown. This is the one container that's going to have the fragrance oil, and I've kind of measured it out accordingly. I really, I didn't want to discolor the rest of the soap, so I wanted to leave this. It's going to darken on its own, but I put a little magic beans just because I love it and just because it's a good, you know, placeholder in my memory for everything. Oh yeah, let's have the glove climb completely up. I've got this little, I don't know if you can see this very saucy, saucy little bit of wrist showing. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm making myself laugh again. Really, really pretty brown, soft brown. It is going to darken quite a bit with the fragrance oil though. So I am prepared for that. And I still think this will be a really nice offset though I am going to add Again, I, you know, I'm not sure if this is going to work or not. It's always an experiment, which is kind of fun. I am going to add some titanium dioxide into this brown, 
even though I've added the magic beans, just to see if as it cures, it I know it's going to get, you know, quite a bit darker, but I want to see if this offsets it a bit. It's always a, a, you know, it's a learning thing. It's an experiment. Let's mix this up. All right, and in goes the fragrance oil. I'm gonna mix this in by hand. While I'm mixing this in, I want to give a big, big shout out to my friend Christina. She is my my longtime friend. I don't like to say old friend at the age we are now. That just sounds rude. But uh, my longtime friend from childhood, days and days and years and years ago on Kauai, and I just got my website going, my own little website, so I can feel all oh, schmancy, you guys. You know when it's like your name and then .com, and you get to feel like all like ooh ooh la la check me out anyway I wanted to give her a shout out because she was my first official customer on my website and I wanted to say thank you so much to her it means so much to me she's always been a great support to me and uh, with the little soapy biz she's you know still the same still giving me lots of support and I appreciate it so Thank you, Christina. Mahalo Cho Plenty going out to you. All right, I'm gonna stir these babies in and then I will bring you back when it's time to pour. All righty, here goes the pour. All right, here goes the pour. Brought you guys in for a little bit of a tighter shot. Hopefully you can see a little bit better. I don't like to go from too high up. I think this angle will work. As you all know, if you watch any of my videos, I'm always kind of messing with it and trying to see what the best angle is for you guys but anyway this is the the brown and it doesn't look very brown but it is going to get a lot darker and boy that cocoa butter and cashmere smells just heavenly so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pour you know a fair amount in here for the base and then i'm going to do a pretty basic drop swirl and i'm hoping by doing the drop swirl those bits of soap that i haven't added the fragrance oil to will retain their color and it'll just look like a really nice contrast when it's all said and done. So here we go, fingers crossed. Let's see how this goes. Most of it's gonna go right in. This 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 would be dark brown, which I see needs a little more stirring. This is gonna go right in, and then I'm gonna leave just a little bit to mess with the top, because if I don't mess with the top, I just can't sleep at night. Just have to swirl those soap dots. All right, here we go. It's still really nice and runny. I'm not gonna put too much on the top just to not mess with it too much. But that's really, really, really pretty and that's gonna get a really nice dark brown. And then I'm gonna just start making passes with the pink, give it a little stir right here, and the cream, which are just really nice soft colors. They just make me think of cashmere. So I'm gonna do some nice big drops from up high. It won't show a lot of contrast right now with the color it is. I'm just really curious to see how dark it's going to get. It's supposed to get quite dark. So let's see. I'm going to hold it up. I'm getting really ambitious. I'm hold, like, this is scarily high. Here we go. <laughs> let's see how much mess I can make. I'm just going to do a couple passes with the pink. All right. And then a couple with the cream, maybe not as high let it get in there at different depths and just see how it goes i know this will be really pretty and like i always try to tell myself it's just soap so even if it doesn't come out perfect it's okay
save a little pink from top. And last of the cream, save a little from top. I'll let that sit for a minute, then add on the tops and do a little texturing. So as I'm waiting for this to set up, I'm gonna start just putting this stuff on to do the tops and then I'll mess with it. No, <laughs> of course I'm gonna mess with it. Like, who are we kidding? But I'm gonna texture the top. So we are going um, to visit my parents in Italy. Um, they're over there right now. And my aunt's over there, I have family there. So we're gonna be heading over there very shortly, next week actually, with some really good friends of ours, and I'm very excited to go. It's my husband's first time going, and I am going to be sure to be putting up some videos um, of just our travels in general, but also cool things I see, and hopefully some soapy stuff as we go along. So keep an eye for those. I, I do love getting to travel, and uh, I'm excited to share it with everybody. Just the sights and the sounds and the smells and the just the general awesomeness that it is. So we're going to be over all over really. Um, we're not going to get to do everything. That's kind of how it goes. But we're going to get to do a lot. This is just uh, his first trip over and uh, I keep telling him he's going to be bitten by the bug and then he's going to want to go back and we're going to do it again. So each time we go we'll We'll bite off a little Let's bit more. Let's get pouring on this top. I'm just going to do, keep it kind of simple, well, simple for me, keep it simple. I'm gonna put a little bit of this, will be eventually, hopefully, will be brown right here. Oh, let's pour just like too much. And let's do the pink. It's a little bit of a stir. The pink right next to it. I'm trying to let this set up a little bit. It's not gonna be a really tall soap, but it's going to be very pretty. So I love the colors the way they are. If absolutely nothing changed, I would still be so happy with this. These are just soft and, and luscious and lovely and they make me think of a cozy sweater and oh, I love it already. So here is the cream color that all the way down it doesn't want to pour come out stop fighting me here it goes <laughs> let me get that all the way out spoon some of that out all right oh this just smells so amazing all right I think this is all in there so I'm gonna let this set up and then I'm gonna come back when it's ready and I'm gonna give the top a little bit of a swirler twirler spoon texture or something. I don't know. I'm going to surprise myself and you guys. We're back and the top is about ready to swirl. I think I'm just going to go ahead and give it a pretty simple swirl just using my pipette. This has been my thing lately. I don't know. I was using a chopstick. Now I'm all sucked into using the pipette. But I'm going to also, I am not, look, I have to take like a little, little breath before I say this. I am not going to glitter this is at my husband's request. I'm not going to be loading this up with glitter. It's going to be glitter free. He's like, can we just have one soap that is not glittered within an inch of its life? And the answer today, luckily for him is yes, I'm going to do it, though it causes me physical pain because I am a glitter junkie. I love him and there we go. I'm gonna do a soap without glitter just for him actually it's not just for him everybody's welcome to try it and buy it but you know it does have pink in it so you know gotta have either my favorite color in there or lots of glitter so i got my pretty pink all right so here we go i'm gonna just do kind of a simple swirl i don't know let's see what happens okay that works me just some back and forth and i'm not sure what else i'm gonna do here don't want to over swirl it but I want to do something kind of fun and if I'm not in love with this then I'm gonna let it just set up and I'm gonna texture the top and just like give it a really nice spoon texture yeah I don't love this to death so I think I'm going to just wait 
and then let it set up a little bit and come back and just texture it with a spoon. I really do like to do that too when it's a little more set. I just kind of turn it sideways like this and I give it a nice texture. It's pretty, it's pretty as is, but I'm gonna give it a little bit more of a, a, a jazzy, a jazzy jazz on top there. So we will be back when this is set up. Well, I am back and I have been waiting forever for it to set up now. The brown is setting up really nice. The fragrance oil is getting that a little bit more accelerated. The white and pink are just kind of hanging out. So I thought, hey, why not? I will just get on here and kind of mess with it and take you guys along for the ride. Let me pull this just a little bit this way. Can everybody see it? No, the other way was better, of course. All right, so I'm trying to get this all cute. I'm trying to make sure, oh, I'm gonna have a little shadow and block, but so I was going to do these because I'm like mildly obsessed with the spoon texture. I just, I love these. This is gonna be the brown side. So I thought of just doing that all over, but this isn't really set up for that. So then I thought of kind of pulling this along. Oh, let's make a huge hole. That's super fun. Kind of pulling this just along. and messy and then just doing a little bit of this I don't know I don't know I don't want the um, other colors to really get swallowed up that's my dog in the other room making so much noise um, I don't want the other colors swallowed up by the brown and I am afraid if they get too muddled with the brown it's really going to get them muddy you know get them turned so Again, I'm just messing with this. Figured I'd take you guys along with me for the the wild ride that is always me and soap tops. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna leave it. I don't know if I'm gonna mess with it. Of course, I was gonna make it simple, but of course that never happens when I'm involved. So I don't know. I might leave it like this. I might let it set up a little bit more and then add those. Um, little spoon textures all the way down but I will definitely do a final little swoop through once I get it all done and in the meantime oh this glove is like the gloves are fighting me man the gloves are fighting me today in the meantime I hope everybody has a wonderful day thank you so much for joining me today and I would love to hear your uh, comments or questions below Please feel free to like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day. Aloha, everybody. Getting it in the shadow.